Now in this experiment we're going to be using a piece of wire and we're going to be adjusting the voltage across it and the current through it. So the setup I have for this experiment is I've just got a ruler and on the back of it I've just taped on a piece of wire. We can then connect this into a circuit where we're going to have an ammeter to measure the current going through it and we're going to be using a voltmeter to measure the potential difference of the voltage across this piece of wire. And I can adjust this by using this variable power supply over here. Now the first thing I'm going to do is just connect it up with the ammeter. So if I just connect it up like so, we're going to be making sure that the ammeter goes in series. And to attach this onto the piece of wire, I'm just going to use a couple of crocodile clips. Now the exact position doesn't really matter. We just want to have a certain length that stays the same. Okay, so now we've got uh, this connected up like so and if I just turn this on we can just very quickly see that yet yeah, a current is actually in that so that's perfect I'm now going to use my voltmeter and I'm going to connect this across the ends of the piece of wire and again just turning this on and adjusting it we can see that we have readings on both of these so now we are ready to take some results and I'm going to take six results I'm going to go from zero and I'm going to go up in 1.5 volt intervals. And the other important thing about this is that I'm going to make sure that between the readings I'm going to turn off the power supply. The reason for this is that we don't want that wire actually overheating and therefore affecting the results. So I think we are pretty much ready to go. So first of all with everything turned off we have zero volts and zero current. So I'm now going to adjust it till it's about 1.5 and this is the value for the current at this time so it might be worth pausing the video and taking one of these values. I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to adjust this until we get up to about 3. I'm going to turn it on quickly, we can take a reading and then I'm going to turn it off going up to about 4.5. about six and finally the last value of about seven and a half I don't want to keep this on too long in case it does heat up and the last value is about 7.5 I'm going to just turn it off there now if I was to keep going up and have a higher voltage if I just show you what would have happened if I turn it on now you might see that the wire does get very slightly longer and that's because of the heats up, it's going to increase in length. And if we had this on for too long, what you might find is that the wire overheats, which could be a bit dangerous. So for something like this, you want to make sure that you only turn it on for a very short amount of time, and that reduces any heating effect of the current on that wire. So now we have our six results, we can then plot this on the graph to look at the relationship between the potential difference or voltage and the current for a piece of wire.